Don't you worry. That's not music. Oh, well, it might not be to you. It's not to no one else who comes in here neither. You want to hear them play Carolina Moon? You don't have drum solos in Carolina Moon, Simon. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, all right, all right, Dave Fairbank. You've got the job. Have a blow, will you? <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, Simon Simpson. Obviously, you must have made contact with my agency at some point, otherwise you wouldn't be here for the auditions. Mm -hmm. Very simple procedure, nothing to worry about. Um, ten minutes, quarter of an hour if you need it. Relax, do your best, nobody's watching, and I'll take you in alphabetical order, but don't suddenly change your name to Zebedee. <laughs> All right. Any questions? Yeah, when's the bar open? Tomorrow lunchtime. What? Uh, We're closed on a Monday, everything's locked up. Hey, bloody hell, I'm trapped in a room with ten burglars. <laughs> And how did I get here? Uh, listen, boys, don't tell me parole officer, will you? I'm too pretty to go back to prison. <laughs> ah, a comedian. <laughs> you could have fooled me. Who me? Who me? I only want a got like here. Oh, play with me, Rodney, play with me. Put your hand up me back and make me high spot. <laughs> oh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, my name is Ross Goldieville. We all have a cross to bear. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's not my real name. My real name is... Uh, and um, I, I was I was wondering, uh, Mister, um, if, if if the acts are in in alphabetical order, does that mean I go after D for D Bill or um, V for for Bill? Good good afternoon. Uh, Roscoe Deville's the name, and Magic's the game. Uh, I'm glad I'm on first because I've just remembered. I'm. <laughs> 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 I'm glad I'm on first. I've just remembered I buried the wife last week and I'll have to go back to see, to see if she's dead yet. Right. Uh, it's, it's on with the show. Some sodden orders, yeah. These are turns doing the best, and you're supposed to be one yourself, aren't you? Now shut it, peasant. Lads like him, Simon, two a penny standing by the bar, cracking gags with the mates. 
put them on the stage, the bottle goes. He'll be ringing home for fresh undies. You wait and see. you get tales of violence robbery rape murder bloodshed war and that's only on jack and Ori. <laughs> but it's true though isn't it? i mean wherever you look there's trouble well the police aren't doing much about it are they eh? not that they could even if they wanted to and do you know why because they're thick no now i don't care if they've been to college or passed exams and out of uniform they might be a bundle of fun bright and witty and nice to know but once the straps under the chin the brains go out the window and if you don't believe me, one example, right? Look at the big signs they have all over the cars. See what's written on them? Police. Now I ask you, isn't that a dead giveaway? I mean, you don't see robbers going around with a big notice on the top of their car saying thief, do you? <laughs> but nothing's what it's supposed to be these days, is it? Nobody cares, nobody's honest, no one tells the truth. Take the other day. I rang up that posh woman at the GPO because my watch had stopped. And you know what? She even lied about the time. I tell you, you can't even draw your dole now, can you, without it ending up like mastermind? The counter clerk took me on one side this morning. The usual 20 questions. Asked me how many jobs I had this year. In Liverpool. So I told him. 34. He looked up me all funny and he said, you're joking, aren't you? I said, well, you started it, pal. <laughs> nah. Life's not like it used to be, is it? Not like your grandparents tell you it was. You know your grandparents, don't you? The two old boys sitting by the fireplace farting all the time. You know, the ones your mum's been trying to put into her home for the past ten years so she can have the house. <laughs> They've still got a sense of humour though, the old brothers, don't they? My granddad asked her what she wanted for Christmas the other week. And my grandma said, a widow's pension. And you know what my granddad said? Over my dead body, girl. Yeah. <laughs> the good old days, you know. When good manners were important. <laughs> When people knew the place. When peasants like me stayed where they belonged. Ha <laughs> Too true. Oh, there he goes. He's a sex symbol, you know. Yeah? He's a prick. I'll have you. Oh, prometed, prometed. But as I was saying before the end of civilization as we know it put it in, the good old days when hunger marchers march politely and starve silently, the good old days of birching and flogging and hanging, the days when society was sane. Get him off, will you, Don't Simon? worry, pal, I'm going. The good old days, when a bedroom was a place to sleep. When a good screw was only something that fitted into a nut. Christ when French letters were holiday postcards. When a neat friend blow was a keep fit exercise. When many of the little line was merely a nursery rhyme. When tits were for the friends who roamed your garden in the springtime. When Fanny and Dick were merely the names of your parents. My parents come to places like this now. The back of tried to make a go of like years ago. Well, we won't be seeing him in here again. No, somehow I don't think we will. And if anything does come up, I'll let you know. I've got your phone numbers. Right. Right. Thanks for uh, coming. Thanks mm -hmm. very much. Bye bye. All right. Okay, Rhoda. I think we might be able to sort something out for you. Things are tight just after Christmas and the New Year, but uh, we'll try for weekends for the start. All right? Thank you very much, Mr. Simpson. Okay, pop into the office on um, Thursday morning. Right, right. Okay. 
Eight o'clock tomorrow in the bow and then. Yeah, all right. Quite a little charmer, aren't you? Until you get on stage. I don't do Des O'Connor. Sorry. Do you really think you're going to make anything of yourself behaving like that? If I want advice, pal, I'll write to Marjorie Creeps, all right? Well, you're going nowhere, then, if you won't listen to advice. All right, then. What have you got to offer? Why are you here? What made you do it? Is that all you're offering? Questions? Never work for the dough? Look, I can't make you anything that you don't want to be. If you don't want to be a good working comedian with lots of potential and maybe more, then you won't be. You'll stay a loud mouth bore. And you'll stay where you say you belong. A peasant pissing his life away against a pub wall. You'd be sat on a park bench in 30 years' time saying I could have made it me. I could have, you know. Life's littered with could have beens. It's very good, that. Do you practice making speeches? <laughs> but, uh, if you take me on, what are you going to do to me? Clean me up, scrub me down, sanitize me. Put me in a plastic bag and make me fit for human consumption, like a pair of kippers. Yeah, too true, I will. You couldn't fill a bathroom at the moment, and you'll empty every club in town. Your medicine's too bitter. No one will take it the way it is now. And don't forget, this one's for free. The punters don't like being talked down to. You ended up like God himself up there. All you needed was three loaves yeah, and, a... and a pair of kippers. Look, if you want it, if you really have got the guts for it, I'll see you tomorrow afternoon in my office at half past four and don't expect to work for at least a month. You want to preserve my reputation? Not yours, mine. Yeah, they're a case these days, women, aren't they? <laughs> Weird like. Oh, come on. Women are a weird bunch, aren't they? They're not like us men at all. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah, it's a fact. And hey, have you also noticed, even when they're pretending to be like us, you know, in that first couple of months when you first meet them and they're trying to make you fall in love with them and they're doing the things we like doing? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Innocence, Joey. If you're going to do it at all, it's ugly like that. Huh? You don't want to smirk, you want to laugh. I'll do it again. Eh, uh, you know. You know, in the first couple of months when you first meet them, and they're trying to make you fall in love with them, and they're doing the things they think we like to. Like going to the away games and queuing up for two hours to get a good spec. <laughs> Standing there up to here in Guinness, watching out for darts and petrol bombs, Getting their ankles wet and dying for a burst. <laughs> but whatever they do, however hard they try, even if they get love and hate tattooed on their knuckles, they just snap one of the boys. And I've never met a woman yet who can kick with both feet and bring a ball down on her chest. Too long. But just too long. Lose a couple of lines. Um, getting their ankles wet and dying for a burst. And get on with it. Get to the point. You know, in. One's underlined, the one's who's screaming. Fine, Marlon. Right. Teresa and Temptations is still in the waiting room. Tell him tomorrow morning. Right. I'm going now. It's half past six. Right. I'll probably catch up with you later. Uh. Start again. From the top. Right then, Simon. Do you want me to go from where yeah, we were uh, yesterday? But before we start, excuse me, love. Uh, I don't know your name, uh, but would you mind waiting in the waiting room for Joey, please? Thank you. Why is that? Look, if you want to make her laugh, do it in the privacy of your own bedroom, not here. And that goes for the one yesterday, and the one the day before, and tomorrow's flavour of the day, and any other passing strangers you might be thinking of inviting in here. This is a business, Joey, not a rest home for fallen women. You know, you've really got a flair for words, you have. Ever thought about going on stage yourself? And while I'm at it, married women, Joey, they poison. Keep away from well, them. Pauline, she's sound. 
Her husband's in Saudi or somewhere making sandcastles. Yeah, and when he comes back, he'll be making trouble. Start again from uh, kick with both feet. And I've never met a woman yet who can kick with both feet and bring a ball down on her chest. But it just goes to show that women aren't like us, are they? Right, Simon, let's get a move on. We've got something on tonight. I thought I said not to make any plans for tonight. Well, I've made them. Cancel them. You're not my social secretary, you know. Hey, you'd like this one, Simon. Yeah, well, she'll be the first. Is you gonna miss her? I'm not. I'm going at nine. I'm coming at half fast. Oh, if only you were as clever as you are smart, wouldn't you be good, eh? Look, you're not going to be on your own, you know. I'm going to be here as well. <clears throat> Shall we start from where we left off last night? It's a man's life. But you see, there's no such thing as it's a man's life these days. That's the problem. You see, women have got this strange idea lately that they're not inferior. Lose so what... it. Lose Look, it. Look, I did lose you. it. I just forgot. But you see, there's no such thing as... Oh. Hey, how about a blow, Simon? It's nearly closing time. I could murder a pint. Mass murder, no doubt. Start again. Haven't you got a secretary to go home to? But you see, there's such a thing. There's no such thing as it's a man's life these days, cause there's no such thing as it's a There's no such Oh Christ life anymore. But whose fault is it, eh, boys? I'll tell you. It's ours. No one else's. Ours. And you know why? Because we've let those women of ours sneak into our lives. We let them be persons instead of women. We let them be bin persons and bricklayers if they wanted. Then all in wrestlers and steeple James. Never said nothing when they started smoking cigars. Even let a couple of them read the nine o'clock news. And so what happens? They take it to extremes, don't they? They're not interested in being where they belong anymore. Cooking the tea or behind the counter in Woolies. And so what have we got? Not only do we have taxi drivers wearing lipstick, hod carriers in curlers, and Attila the Hen at number 10. You know what the latest is? Women. Referees. Joey Dukes, Arthur. Joey Dukes. And listen, let me tell you. Joey Dukes might be a new name to you, but give him six months and you'll have to wait a year to book him into the Golden Finger. And give him a year and he won't be here anymore. <laughs> How many times have I heard that, Simon? Oh, well, you would have heard it all before, Arthur, but this time it's different. You could be in on the beginning of... Leave it with me, Simon. I'll ask the committee. <laughs> all right, Arthur, but don't leave it too long, eh? You can afford him now, but not for long. <laughs> In case you are, Simon. I'll get back to you. <laughs> All right, turn on. Sign there and there, John. Yes? I've got you Bobby Sweeney from the El Tabala. All right, put him through. Oh, and come in here, I want your autograph. I'm sitting here. I've got holes in my shoes. They are sending me trousers. He's hanging out, and I've forgotten my anky. And as I was leaving our house this morning, the six kids with the wife were lined up on the doorstep, all looking very pitiful <laughs> and saying, Oh, Daddy, we need some meat in our gruel this week. And I said, Don't worry about a thing. I'm going to phone your uncle, Bobby Sweeney. Two, dear. What? Oh, we're going to choose the two, dear. I can't afford them. No. <laughs> no, I'll tell you, Bobby. Money doesn't come into this. A young lad, a comic by the name of Joey Dukes. I've just this minute managed to sign him under an exclusive contract. He's just right for your place, I'll tell you. And before you ask, he's cheap at the moment. 45 quid for two spots. Try me again in the summer and see how much he's going out for, because I'll tell you, this boy, he's so good, I am afraid to put him That's into some club because he Saturday, makes the other acts two spots. Fine, put that on his date sheet, man. 
Thanks, Arthur. I'll be in touch. One or two of the committee weren't too happy booking an unknown, you know. All right, Arthur. Don't worry. You won't regret it. Put it this way, Simon. If I regret it, so will you. <laughs> Arthur, this boy is going right to the top. <laughs> and I'm going there with him. I've had enough of taking 15% of nothing. Hustling for buttons and talking to small men with big committees. I'm making 25,000 a year. That's not the point. Joey Dukes is my passport out of here. Go on. I mean, I don't like him. In fact, for what it's worth, I dislike him and his 27 women intensely. Well, you don't have to like him, Marilyn, love. Just appreciate him. Oh, the character he presents. He pretends to be. Most comics, love, most good comics are vain, untrustworthy, self-obsessed, neurotic, drunken philistines. And sex maniacs. Goes without saying. And Joey Dukes is no exception. But is he good? I think so. Anyway, we'll soon find out. <laughs> and so what have we done? Not only do we have taxi drivers wearing lipstick, hod carriers in curlers, and a till of a hen at number ten. <laughs> you know what the latest is? Women. Referee. <laughs> I tell you, anything to get out of washing the nappies and go in the shops. <laughs> I tell you, anything to get out of washing the nappies and go in the shops. <laughs> but can you imagine it though, eh? The first woman to take charge of a big match. <laughs> the referee's room at Anfield at Old Trafford, hastily redecorated. Pinky Mulchie, Laura Ashley curtains, Habitat football fixtures, a big mirror on the wall. And she's got Eaton Curler's hair lacquer and lipstick, all provided by the club. An umbrella in the corner in case it rains. And the woman's own and cosmopolitan sent in instead of a programme in the sport in pink. <laughs> Program and the sport in pink. <laughs> well, over on the dressing room table, at the side of her ironing board, is a referee's kit. Now, can you imagine this, eh? View shirt with cutaway collar, <laughs> lilac shorts, those rainbow socks with the little toes in them, <laughs> and a pair of PVC high heel stiletto football boots, <laughs> size two and a half. And on the clothes pick, she's got a girdle and a clean pair of tights in case the cameras are there for match of the day. <laughs> and at half time, she wants a cup of black coffee and two hermesitas and a rye beater. Because she's on a diet. <laughs> Joey Jukes. Mm, you want to know about Joey Jukes, Mike? Really? Well, I told you about Joey Jukes ooh, two months ago. And I'm sorry. If you want to book him now, the earliest I can give you is uh, late summer. And then it'll only be on a Tuesday night, and I can't guarantee a price. Certainly not the price he's going out for now. All right, let me know anyway, mate. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, then? Las Vegas, World Tour, Royal Command Performance. All right, Queen, I was having a pint with your Philip the other night, and we were discussing Nothing's the wedding. Nothing's next except more work. The last thing you want to be is an overnight success. Try me. You've been legless in a week and forgotten in a fortnight. You've really got a lot of faith in me, haven't you? Who carried you home last night and put you to bed? You must have had competition, sunshine. Look, Joey, trust me. I bet you say that to all the boys. <sighs> all right. You want to know the truth? Ideally in rubbish. Day in and day out. I put second-rate turns in third-rate clubs. I look after no opers and and cheap imitations. I'm not in. I look after no opers and cheap imitations. They're not so good, the bad and the ugly. Some are good, some are better than others. But none of them are ever going to be big. Big like on the tip of everyone's tongue. Yeah, like spit. And you know what? I've put almost any of them in the biggest club in the land tomorrow. I put them forward for radio and television and tours and recording contracts. Because most turns in this business, and I'm talking about the big ones and all, 
a dribble. All right, so they might get lucky and make it just for a little while and have something to sell the grandkids, but it's not going to last. They're only going to the top to come down again, if they ever get there. With you, it's different. Yeah, I'll never get that in the first place. Look, you stupid bastard, I'm telling you! There's nobody in your way except you yourself. Now, grow up. One swallow doesn't make a spring, and three good nights don't make a career. I want to be famous. And I can't wait. That's what it is. Oh. I am sorry, Joey. I did not know that. Where am I tonight? I'm very grateful, Morris. A week in Gate said it'll do fine. If he can work there, he can work anywhere. <laughs> and uh, I know it's early days yet, but he really is an act to remember. Otherwise, I won't be booking him through an agency as big as yours. That's how confident I am. And uh, I want him working completely out of town by the autumn. He's already starting to outgrow this town. So, but if you, I mean, if you want to have a look at him, you know, do so, and then give me a ring. And uh, if you like him, we can arrange some nice bookings between us. No, it's starting already. It really is. Yeah, yeah it's yours. Morris, him, Morris himself was on the phone by the Thursday morning, raving about the reports he did. It's true. Well, to tell you the truth, Si, I died my first night there. You know, Monday night in Gateshead, you know what I mean? See more life in the eunuch Sundays. <laughs> I went out. I did 45 minutes to 31 people and got four laughs. I came off the concert sex there, he puts his arm around me. I said, yeah, all right, I know the score, pay me off now and I'll be on my way. But he just shakes his head, he says, wait, no, man, I want you to go straight back home. But I died, I said, I only die once a night, I'm not Christopher Lee. But he's still shaking his head, you know, taking me back to the side of the stage, he says, no, you see, pet, there's a man up there in the front row just murdered his wife. Now, the police are on the way. But we want to keep him occupied till we come, because we think he might still have the knife with him. Oh. And with one almighty push, he knocks me back on stage. The spotlight hits me, the combo's going, there's no business like show business. And suddenly I'm going, eh, 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 eh. Did you hear the one about the man whose wife committed suicide? Eh, no, 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 no. And, and then a fellow at the front got up to go to the bog, and suddenly I'm standing behind the drummer going, eh, so, so, so the doctor said to me, wife, wife, no, 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 not wife, wife. No, 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 I'm not married. I was never, I was never married. Eh, no, no, no. Uh, the usual, you know, dear Morris, delighted at Joey's success in Gateshead, which we naturally expected, blah, 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 blah. New paragraph. As for contractual details, Joey is signed with this agency and this agency alone. Whilst your interest pleases me, in so much as it is further proof of Joey's quality, I am not prepared to listen to offers of call management at this present moment in time, even with an agency as renowned, even with an agency as justifiably renowned as your own. <laughs> suck, suck. Add a few lines of present. Oh, mention us um, with Princess Margaret at the um, the Club Lancaster Man performance. Yeah. Arrogant son, trying to grab Joey. Mind you, I saw his act last night. He took one look at the audience and thought he was too good for him. They didn't notice, of course, they thought he was wonderful, but Joey wasn't there. He was at the club like a man performance with Princess Margaret. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Too true. And if you want a nice little soul band, Jeff, I've just taken uh, an excellent little group under my wing called the King Bees. Two girls and a boy. Joey's here. Just hang on a minute. Listen, I'll, I'll phone you back in about five minutes. All right, Jeff. All right, Paul. What's the matter? I thought you were supposed to be in Birmingham. I was. What happened? I got there last night, right? Nothing on the posters outside. No mention of me. I went into the pub across the road and sulked for a bit. I got over that. I found the club, found the office, saw the bloke all fidgeting and eyes down. He said there'd been an unfortunate mistake. Your unfortunate mistake! No chance, no. He said you hadn't confirmed, so oh, there was nothing you Oh, you know me better than that, Joey. Well, well, get me well, the Simon, 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 I, I didn't believe him, like, you know, but... <clears throat> but what could I do? 
Just st st stand, up, stand up in the audience and, and gather a crowd round me and compete with a rock group in a snake act. Uh, hey, uh, excuse me, and it turned me over here on table 41 behind a pillar in the queue for chicken in a basket. Man, get me so a taxi I, to take I, Joey I'm home so with so him. So I'll probably go with him. Not only is it very short notice, it's a ridiculous excuse and discourteous in the act's dream. Goodbye. Safari Park leads of Council Joey. Oh, go away. That's three in a fortnight. Three good showcases in three major cities. It stinks, doesn't it? I wonder if the Monopolis Commission know about Morris McNamara, MBE. What happened with Joey? Oh, drunk and disorderly. Forty pound fine, bound over to keep the peace for twelve months. <laughs> Stop it out of his money, eh? He doesn't need an agent. He needs a childminder. He phoned you at home. Yeah, Pauline took it. I was in bed, but I phoned him back after. Yeah, all right. Well, spare us the sordid details. Go on. Well, uh, he wanted to know, well, if I was, you know, happy with you, like. Yeah. Yeah, well, what did he offer you? We well, didn't talk money. He just said he could book me into better places. In London, like. Out of town. On the telly. He said I was wasting me time. Here. I'll have his balls for billiards. What did you say to him? Oh, not a lot. Hello, Morris. That's very kind of you, Morris. Is that a fact, Morris? Well, I never, Morris, and goodbye, Morris. I had a promise of Pauline, you see, and she was in hurry to pick up the kids from school, so I wasn't going to You work around. out of town more, Joe, I promise you, and the yeah, rest all right, all right, all right, Simon. I believe you. You don't have to keep telling me, you know. I just want to see it happen, all right. Before the end of the year... Just to add little depth to his character, blackmail as well. No, it's me. Me. Me, me, me. Don't be ridiculous. Well, who else is it? He could still make it with me. He's got a talent. But they're squeezing me out. The dogs have got the scent, and I have got to the end of the year. Happy New Year. I'm sorry, Simon, nothing, not a whisper. Have you tried the eagle and child? Yes. Uh, how about the farmer's arms? Yes. The bow and arrow, then? Yes. Come on, Joey, for Christ's sake, come on. from the Golden Finger. I don't want to speak to him. But it'll be about Joey. I know. That's why I don't want to speak to him. He's insisting. Oh, put him on. You could try the bluebell, Marilyn. I have to. He left there an hour ago. Wonderful. <laughs> Happy New Year, one and all. Simon? All right, Arthur. Looking forward to tonight. Should be a all grand right. night. Well, that's what I've wrong about. You'll never know the trouble I had squeezing your club into Joey Jutsi's schedule. Oh, what? Hey, and you know how much he normally goes out for? Top bat, 125 quid, like the last time he was at the Golden Finger. And I brought him down to a straight ton for you tonight. I don't know why we do it, I really don't. Well, there's another Have thing. a look in yellow pages, Marilyn. See if we're listed on the charity organisations. I've heard he's supposed to be appearing in two other clubs around here tonight. Ah, but he's hitting yours last, Arthur. The best time. A nice little 45-minute spot just before midnight and then... Out into the street for all lang time. Oh, he'll have bloody love and joy just by then, if he comes. Joey? Of course he'll come. Tell you, you want to make the most of him while he's still around after he's really taking off now, you know. It's not his taking off that worries the committee, it's his turning off. Oh, God, a few nasty rumours. Ah, and... more than rumours. I mean, have you seen him lately, Simon? He's been ill, Arthur. He's been really very ill. I've had specialists out to so see him. You're, had... tell it, you're telling me he might not be coming. Is that what you're saying? He'll be there, Arthur. Oh, don't worry, he'll be there. I give you my word. He better have been. Look, Arthur, I'm, uh, I'm very and busy. And another thing, 
Look, Arthur, can't it wait, for goodness sake. I mean, I'm very busy. It's my busy night. Hello. Hello, Arthur. Arthur. Simon. Lord, Arthur. Have you got a bad line? I think it's terrible. It needs cleaning, Simon. I think. You're Arthur, we're being cut off. Hello, Arthur. Yeah. It's uh, Ronnie Barrett from Booth and Puddings Railway Club. Oh, I was only talking to him yesterday. Tell him I'm busy. Yeah, it's about the flames, though. It's important. Somebody told him they were a punk all route. All right, all right. Pull him on. Joey. I'd tell you, wouldn't I? You're phoning up at eight o'clock on New Year's Eve, the busiest night of the year, about nothing really. <laughs> You're a character, you are. Well, it's just about this group of yours, you know. Oh, Ricky a lovely Ramon act. And the Olympic flames. Yeah, lovely, lovely lads. Young but clean cut, you know what I mean? Velvet suits and ties. Keep the volume down and finish off with a Barry Manilow medley. Terrific. So it's not true that they smash guitars and spit at the audience? Ronnie. <laughs> Come on now, I mean, with the relationship we've got, the years we've known each other, would I put an act on your club tonight of all nights like that? Yes. Bonnie Ronnie. Well, all I know is, Simon, someone said... And someone was wrong, weren't they? Eh? Right, good. Now, that's that sorted out. Listen, I must go now, Ronnie, but don't worry, you've got a really good turn. Listen, are, are you sure? Absolutely that... certain, no problem. Do a bomb. Um... Uh, Happy New Year. All the very best, mate. Thanks for calling. Cheers. Bye. Look. <laughs> yes, Marilyn. Another call. Tell me this... something new. This is... Every concert second crackpot in the country will be on the phone before tonight, so... Simon! Any news about Joey? It's Joey who's on the phone. I'll put him on. Hello? 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 Hello, Joey. Joey? Simon? Oh. See you phoning from home again. Ho, 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 ho. Very funny, Simon. My ribs are aching already. <clears throat> now, what the bloody hell are you playing at home? Where have you been? You know how many times you haven't turned up since Christmas Eve? Netherly Conservative Club, South Garston Football Club. Flea pits, I don't care what they are. You've let them down, and I've had them screaming at me all week. Who be an agent, eh? Yeah, thanks, pal. Same again. Dead right, it's the same again. Look, I'm a big boy now, Daddy. Leave off the lectures, eh? There's a nice man. Listen, I'll tell you this much. You're heading for a fall, and there's times when I think If I want going... advice, Simon, I'll write to Marjorie Proofs, all right? You said that to me once before. Did I? You're doing this to me on purpose, aren't you? Am I? Look, where have you been, eh? I've been trying to get all of you all week. I've been away. Oh, yeah? Which one is it this time? The scrubber out yeah, the Yeah, Charles, just leave it there. Sound. Are you listening to me? Not really, no. Look, I'm going now, Simon. Joey. I'll drop in to see you after, all right? I, I, About a quarter of an hour. I'm not around the corner. I don't want you in here. I want you in the clubs. Now, do you know where you are tonight? Have you got the list? Yeah. The London Palladium, the talk of the town, and Caesar's Palace. Thanks, Simon. Look, Joey. Look, Joey. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? Don't take it out on me, you know. Sorry. Sorry! What is it, look? He's still in the waiting room, you know. Oh, God. Uh, what's he doing? Whistling Love Me Tender and combing his quiff. Oh, of course. What else? Have you told him I'm busy? For the last four days. Well, all right, look. Just ignore him. Uh, um, put all the calls through to in here and come in here yourself. I'm in desperate need of some care and attention. And you never know, our friend in the waiting room might just, um, calm himself to death or something. He won't want until he sees you. He brought his flask and sandwiches with him this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Arthur. Fancy being cut off like that. Must be a fault on the line Hello, Arthur. Sorry, 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 Simon, Susan, Susan. Susan. Sodding. And a happy new year to, 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 to you too. <sighs> Simonson's Entertainment. Hello, hello, 
Simon. It's Arthur again, Simon. Hello, Arthur. Fancy being cut off like that. That must be a fault on the line somewhere. I'm glad you could get back to me. I'll come to the point, Simon. Please do. I went back to the committee with what you told me. How you gave me your word and so forth. But the committee is still anxious, Simon. There's no hiding in that. And the long and short of it is, the committee, the committee feel that your word isn't real enough to put everyone's mind at ease. <coughs> you see? Well, what do you want me to do? Swear an affidavit? It's not me, you know. Don't get me wrong. The committee are the ones who are panicking, Simon. If I had that word committee once more, I shall scream. Simon? Hello? Simon, are you there, Simon? Hello? If this is Joey, keep him on the Simon? Line. Hello, Simon. We, I think we've been cut off, Simon. No, no. Carry on, Arthur. I'm all ears. You see, Hello. The you see, the thing is, it's New Year's Eve, Simon. I know it's Hello. New Year's Eve, Arthur. Yeah, but no, but it's a big night in this club. Three bingo, special buffet, bar extension, champagne breakfast, and the committee... <laughs> are you all right, Simon? Simon, are you all right? Just drop scalding hot coffee on my lap, that's all, Arthur. Uh, nothing to worry about. Third degree burns, nothing more. Carry on. Aye, well, the committee naturally <coughs> wants a good turn to round the night off. Now, when I booked Joey in, there was no question about him. Arthur, not at all. I've told However, lately... I've told you he'll be there. Oh, Christ, the buffet's just come. <laughs> Over there, fella, by the tropical fish tank. <coughs> well, uh, don't let me keep you, Arthur. Priorities are priorities. And look, stop worrying, Joey will be great. Ah, well, I hope so, for your sake, Simon. How's he drinking these days? Through his mouth, Arthur, through his mouth. Oh, all right, all right, point taken. But listen, if you could remind him, there's a Catholic element over oh. by the bar. Tell him to keep off the bleeding Pope. <laughs> oh, I and the members' wives. Well, I give you that, he does have a little trouble with women. Trouble? He never has any trouble with women. They're like flies round a cow pat. Mind you, he's getting trouble, all right, if that... Pauline's husband catches up with him. Pauline's oh, husband's away, isn't he? Saudi Arabia or somewhere? Yeah. And Joey better hope he stays there and all. He's a killer, that one. All right, I'll warn him then. I saw him once one night take two steaming paddies apart just because they made some crack about his stutter. Yeah, yeah. Stutter? Yeah, stutter. Makes people think he's soft. There's a lot of broken noses walking about made that mistake. All right, I'll warn him then. No Pope, no women, and no drink. That leaves Joey without a life, never I'm mind I'm only doing my job, you know, Simon. I've had authority vestiges in me by the committee. Ah! Oops! Another cup of scalding hot coffee, Arthur. Yes, well, never mind. Just take my trousers off for me, would you, Marilyn? There's a dear. Must go now, Arthur. All the very best, by the way. And stop worrying. Everything will be just fine. Well, I hope that he... Bye for now. <laughs> Is this all life has to offer, I ask myself? Simon Sim Simon Simpson Entertainment. So, 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 Simon Simpson 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 Yes it is. But if you're phoning about Joey Dukes, let me tell you, lad. You will won't 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 do, do not t t t t tell him pal I'm t t t telling you. He 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 I think your needle's stuck there, fella. I, and you better look after no. Oh, oh he he he's not for, 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 for Funny, he's been m m m messing about with my w w w w w w wife. And yeah, all right, and I know I'm I'm sorry and all that. I know exactly how I, you I, must I feel. Be, but... I be sc 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 screwing your wife and, and all, eh? Hey. Well, give him credit for taste, if nothing he else. Got, got, got no credit with me and I, no, 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 no. One thing, if he shows show, show, show up there tonight, we're around, no, 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 there's nothing to laugh at, you know. You go home in hush. All right, listen to me. No one threatens my artist, right? Especially Joey Dukes. He's valuable property, is Joey. And get this straight and all. There'll be someone there with Joey tonight who'll sort you out good style. Starting with GBH as a friendly warning and working on from there. So unless you want to be in so many pieces your friends are going to get tired of looking for you, I should run along back to Saudi and play with the sand. There's a good boy. Oh, my God. Just a simple death threat to Joey, nothing more to... <laughs> uh, right, find out the name of the... Good, not him. Yeah. Rock on. Right, find out the name of that uh, bloke who was in before Christmas, offering his service as a bodyguard. It's filed under thugs, if my memory serves me well. Right. See if he's busy tonight. 
it on. Simon seems to entertain us. All right, Simon, it's uh, it's Ricky Ramon here, and like you know, hey, uh, shut it, will ya? Uh, we're up at the railway club now, and I said, shut it! Are you deaf or daft, Mac, yeah? Uh, the point is, you see, there's there's a bit of a problem this end, and you hit our kid, Mac, and I'm warning you. Uh, you may as well know now, Simon, I don't think we're going to be able to go on tonight. And, uh, what, what did I tell you, Mac? I, I told you, didn't I? God in heaven. Marilyn, yeah. have you found that thug's name yet? Yeah, I should call Well, him. leave that alone for a minute. Um, have a look in the files in your office, see if we get anyone free tonight. Uh, Bootles Railway Club, nine o'clock, oh, at the very latest. Uh, two spots, 80 quid. Failing that, uh, ring round the other agencies if anyone's stupid enough to be still working and see if they've got any kind of act available. Uh, they can have the commission. Joey's here. What? Joey's here. All right, send him in. How are you? Huang's Chinese takeaway, yes. Oh, sorry, mate, wrong number. The Liverpool VD clinic is now closed. This is a recorded message. If you require any information, please... The Liverpool VD clinic is now closed. This is a recorded... The Liverpool V D The Liverpool v The Liverpool Sit down, Joy. No more calls, Marilyn. None. Well? Who's that in the waiting room? Oh yeah, we have a deal with the local mental hospitals, you know. When that outpatient is full, they send them down here. And what the bloody hell are you playing at, Joy? Where the hell have you been? Who, me? Oh, cut it down. I don't have to You're not entertaining some mug in the bar of a club now, you know. Look at this. Go on, pick it up and read it. It's a list of clubs you've let down since Christmas Eve. You've got it upside down. Oh. Count them. Eh, uh, one, two, three. Four. Nine! Nine in one week? Well, you know I've had some bad luck lately. The kind of bad luck that comes dressed in a skirt or out oh. of a bottle. Yeah, if you say so, Simon. Look, I'm telling you, if you don't knock it off fast, you're finished. Oh, am I? Is that a fact? Have a look at that, I know. It's like being back at school, this. Do I set a test Read after? It. It's our next week's cancellations. All for you. I'll change my toothpaste. Oh, Joey, Joey. Look, our kid, only a few short months ago, you were the hottest property in this city. Yeah. Yeah, this city. Well, that's the problem, innit? Same places, same faces. Where am I tonight? I'll tell you. I'm at the 158 Club, wherever that is. The Kensington Palace and the Golden Finger. Jeez, I was only at the Finger just before Christmas. There might be some trouble at the Well, there'll be trouble, all right. You told me you'd get me work out of town. I got as far as three nights in Huddersfield and two weeks in Gateshead. It'll come. It should be come. here already. You're holding me back. I am what? You heard. I should have gone through the roof by now. Oh, God, Joey. How many times do I have to tell you? You weren't ready. You would have come down a bloody sight quicker than you went up. But at least I'd have been there. What am I doing now, eh? Going round and round the same old circuit? I'll vanish up my own ass one of these nights! Let's face facts, Simon. I'm going nowhere. Not with you. You're just wasting my time and yours talking this way. It's not gonna solve a thing. Madeline, I thought I said no more. I'm problems. sorry, Simon, but. What's that? It's him. He won't leave me alone. I've got another three scarves and a rhinestone belt here. All right, but I still don't think that's any reason to interrupt me. Come in. No, it's not. It's not that. I thought you'd better know Ronnie Barrett's been on. He wasn't very happy. Surprise, surprise. What did he say? Well, not too much. There was a fight going on in the background. And all I could hear were cries of pain and four letter words. Yes, that's the entertainment business. You got a drink, Simon? No. All right, keep me posted. No, don't keep me posted, but keep ringing round. 
please. I'm trying to. Sorry. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, look, before I forget, the golden finger. Yeah, don't worry, something. don't worry, Simon, I'm going. No, it's I not. I need that. the money. It's, I, but after that, forget it. You've had your chance. What? Going deaf, Si. Oh, come on. I should have left you in the summer when the going was good. Don't be a fool, Joey. Not now. I mean, come on, eh? I've always looked after you, haven't I? Eh? You've always worked. I mean, I've always believed you were going to be big, and you are. You're going to be big. Yeah, but when, though? What sort of headline is it going to be, eh? Pensioner, it's the big time. <laughs> Life's too short. It's not my fault, you know. Oh, it really isn't. The big boys just won't go near you yet. Yeah, yeah, because of you. Me? You, I'm not soft. They don't want you, they want me, and they don't want to share me with you. That's, that's nearly true, actually. I, I don't want to share you with them, but if I have to. No, no, it's too late now. No, no it's not too late. I mean, you know, I was talking to you the other well, day. Well, Simon, 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 to... Simon, I've been talking too. That's what I've been doing for the last few days, if you want to know. And that's where I've been. London. Someone signed me up, Simon. Someone big. Morris. Someone big. Hey, listen, you must have a drink somewhere. Hey, you, uh, you can't sign you. I've got you under... Uh, you're under contract. Oh, is that a fact? Well, there is something for you to read. It's from his solicitors. It means goodbye. Hey, you can't. Hey, come on, Joey, not now. You owe me. I don't owe you nothing. All I am to you is a meal ticket, a slice of the action. That's not true. I know. All right. Okay, fair enough. If that's the way you want it. But I'll tell you, you'll never make it this way, Joey. You really won't. Give you 12 months of birds, booze and mismanagement by some know-all in London and I'll tell you... Wait, don't, where are you going? I'm talking to you. You'll soon find out. Hey, Morris. All mouth and miracles, McNamara. He ruined you without even so much. Joey, don't walk away from me. I'm talking to you. Listen, listen, don't go away. Hey, go on in, pal. Sit down. Take the weight off your mind. Thanks, man. Uh, now, don't tell me what you do. Let me guess. Uh, typewriter pants, several silk bandanas, guitar, leather jacket, uh, 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 unicyclist? No, no, no. Go uh, on, clear uh, off, Joey. You've uh, done enough damage tonight. Dance band leader, conjurer, female vocalist? Listen, um, Joey, if you're not through that door whoa, in ten seconds, hey, I'm gonna. Hey, hey, it's a hard one, this. Could you give us a clue? I impersonate the one and only. Al Jolson, that's it. Mammy, how I love you, how I love you. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. Elvis, man, Elvis Presley. Oh, eh. Uh, what you do? Lie in a coffin with your lip curled. Hey, 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 relax, relax. I didn't mean to offend your religion, it's just, you know me, sense of humor. He used to be a comedian. Nice one, Si, I like it. Eh, uh, well, if you could give me the rest of me suit back, I'll be going. Thank you. No offence, Mint. Be nice meeting you. Both. Oh, uh, by the way, what was that you were saying about the golden finger? What? Well, the finger, something about trouble. Oh, yeah, um... Uh, nothing much, just, you know, keep off the Pope. No, stuff like that. That's all. Right, no problem. Sure, I'm sorry to burst in like this, Mr. Oh, Simpson. Please. Because I know the planners are important. Uh, Elvis no, always no, made a particular no. point of being well mannered with everyone, and I know you must be very busy right at this point in time, but if I could introduce Look. myself, my name is Hound Dog. Hound Dog. That's by default, you understand? Oh, yeah. Now, uh, if you kindly allow me to play you. Put that guitar down! All I ask is a few minutes, Mr. Simpson. The first Monday in every month at the railway club. Pardon? Yes, sir. I held auditions there, and I'd, I'd be delighted if you would Mr. come Simpson, along, I... Mr. Uh, 
Mr. Dog. <laughs> However, until then, I'm... Mr. Simpson! Uh, look, the first Monday in every month at the club, OK. Gee, but, hey, look, man, I mean... Will you please get out? Oh, come on, Dog, give us a break, will you? Pardon? All right, so I come from Kirby, but I, I've devoted my life to Elvis. Yes, I'm sure you have. However... Yes, Manolin. Don't tell me World War Three's been announced. No. Must be the New Year's Honours list, then. If anything less than a night would send it back, look. It's Ronnie Barrett screaming blue murder from the railway club. Wonderful! Put him on! <laughs> Ronnie! Simon. We'll have to stop meeting like this. We won't be meeting at all the way things are going on. You want to see my dressing room? It looks like a sodden bombs it is. That'll be World War Three. World War what? Never mind, it's been a bad day. Listen, that bloody group of yours, Ricky Ramon and them, yeah. it took two bounces and bare from behind the bar to separate them. Ah, I heard there might be a little And then they just got there. in the van and buggered off. Going out the car park, two of them fell off the back, still bloody fighting. Well, true talent always has a temperamental side to it, Ronnie, and I've always said myself... I'll tell you this much for free, Simon. I do a lot of business with you. A lot of business. But if you haven't got any placement here by nine o'clock, that's it. You do know what night it is, don't you, eh? The busiest night of the free. Listen, that's talent. your concern. There must be someone. Not a sausage I've been looking for. Um, Hello? Simon! What's uh, up? Simon! Uh, uh, hang, just, hang on a minute, Ronnie, would you? How much will you go out for, son? Well, uh... You'll die for 20 notes, won't you? Yeah, of course you will. Uh, not a penny less, mind. Ronnie! As luck would have it. Uh, a message on my desk from Madeline. Thank you, Madeline. The... Run it, a late cancellation, the very act. Hound dog! What? Oh, come on, Ronnie. A bloody animal act on New Year's Eve. What? No, no, you know, you ain't an animal dog. Oh. oh well, I, I, I like rock and roll me so size, you know, but, huh? but you know the committee are mainly Glenn Miller, man. I, 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 I'm taking into consideration all the inconvenience you have underwent this evening. I am prepared to let him go out and... I'll let him go out. I'll let him go out for 20 quid. How about that? And you can still bill me for the 80, which would leave you with 60 quid for the repair of your dressing room and anything else you might care to spend it on, like a, a New Year's drink on me. What do you say, Ronnie? This is a good turn, like any. The very best! That you're going to get this town on New Year's Eve. What do you say, Ronnie? Okay, I'll take him. Terrific. He'll be straight over there. Listen. Yeah, he's terrific. You won't regret this, Ronnie. And all the very best again. Happy New Year, by the way. Bye, mate. Bye. Bye. Bootle's Cutting Railway Club, son. If I could find the words to thank you. Don't I'll thank me, lad. Just get your skates on. You've got 23 minutes. I'll have to tell my ma. What, ma? Yeah, me man. Yeah, she's my biggest fan. And anyway, me, me stage suit and me starting out and everything. Uh, your stage suit? Yeah, me, me cream leather jumpsuits, what I use for the gigs, like, you know. Of course, whatever was I thinking of. <laughs> All right, you'll use the phone in the waiting room there, will you please? What are you, for 21 and a half minutes? You know what, Elvis... Get out! Please! Simon? Uh, yes, ma'am. But don't forget, I really can't take much more. I've got that so heavy for Jerry on the phone. What time do you want to put the finger for? Uh... Oh, um... Um... Tell him, um... Tell him that there turns out not to be ah, there turns out not to be a need for his services after all. Uh, sincere regrets, full apologies, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> Dazzle the mindless slobby bird, and then tell him there'd be a tenor in the post for his troubles. But, but what and then when you've done that, put the dog out and get your coat on. We should have been sitting at the table for two an hour ago. But what about Joey? What about him? Well, I thought you wanted me to phone Don't that. think, dear. You know it gives you headaches. Oh. I'm sorry. Sorry. Joey sorted himself out now. Or is about to be, one way or another. Oh, Joey, Joey, Joey. This is Simon.
Simon Simpson Entertainment. Thank you for your phone call. I have installed this answering service to ensure that your inquiry is noted during yeah. out of office hours. When you hear the constant tone, please leave your message. Uh, howdy, pal. Uh, my name is Lance Lane. I'm a country and western singer. Uh, I think I'm pretty good. And I was just wondering if I could come and see you uh, sometime, or, or if you could come and see me. Uh, I'm really pretty good. Uh, don't forget now, Lance Lane on 051-547-9127. Have a nice day now. All right, Simon. Ricky Ramon here. Uh, sorry about tonight, but we're all sorted out now. Yeah, me and our kid are forming our own band, and Mac is in the casualty ward at Walton Hospital. So, uh, we'll be in touch, you know, when we get another guitarist. I like sorry again. Simon, Blondie Barrett again. Listen, kid, I've got to tell you this. That kid you sent over to Hound Dog, fantastic. I've never seen anything like it. There's four middle-aged women trying to rape him in the dressing room right now. I just thought you want to know after all the trouble. I've... Oh, I, I've booked him back for the third Saturday in January. OK, Cy, si. see you now. All the best. Hey, it's a minute to midnight, Simon. Joey here, old pal, old friend, old buddy. <laughs> hey, I did a bomb. I've had a drink. Surprise, surprise. And I've just met Monica. Hey, say hello to Simon Monica. So anyway, Simon, I'm phoning to tell you that m most of what I said before when, when we were, you know, in, in the office, well, well, what I'm trying to say, sort of, I, I didn't mean most of it. I was only being horrible so you wouldn't miss me when I went. I'll do that to everyone who loves me. Hey, I didn't mean it, you know. You were good to me. <laughs> hey! I'm talking to a freaking tape recorder here. I'm saying sorry to an answering service. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm sorry, Simon, okay. It's midnight. Everyone's out on the streets, Simon. Happy. Hey, uh, uh, excuse me, but I'll have you got a good, good, good light. Sure, here you are. Happy new. <laughs> <laughs> 